In 1977, a rare planetary alignment offered a once-in-a-lifetime chance, an opportunity that would not return for another 176 years. The solar system's giants lined up in a cosmic dance, setting the stage for an unprecedented journey. With careful planning, a single spacecraft could visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, using the planet's gravity to slingshot from one to the next, a technique known as gravity assist, saving years of travel time and immense amounts of fuel. NASA seized the moment, launching Voyager 2 on August 20, 1977 from Cape Canaveral. The world watched as the rocket roared to life, carrying humanity's hopes into the unknown. Just weeks later, its twin, Voyager 1, followed, both spacecraft embarking on parallel but distinct missions. The mission was originally designed to last just five years, enough time to study Jupiter and Saturn in detail, to send back images and data never before seen by human eyes. Anything beyond that was considered a bonus, a dream for the future. Packed with the era's most advanced scientific instruments, Voyager 2 was more than just a machine. It was humanity's robotic emissary, built to explore the mysteries of the outer planets. It carried a golden record, a time capsule etched with the sights and sounds of Earth, greetings in dozens of languages and music from across cultures, a message to any who might find it. As the Titan 3E Centaur rocket thundered skyward, Voyager 2 became more than a collection of wires and metal. It became a symbol of human curiosity and ambition. It was a message to the cosmos, a declaration that Earth was ready to reach beyond its cradle. Sixteen days later, Voyager 1 launched, taking a faster route toward Jupiter and Saturn, racing ahead of its sibling. But it was Voyager 2's unique, carefully calculated path that would unlock the secrets of the Grand Tour, visiting all four gas giants in a single journey. The two probes were partners in exploration, each with its own destiny among the stars. But only Voyager 2 would visit all four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, charting a path never before taken. As it left Earth behind, Voyager 2 began a solitary journey into the vast darkness, venturing farther from home with every passing day. It was destined to become our most distant explorer, a silent traveler carrying our story into the unknown. It carried with it the light of human curiosity, a beacon of our desire to understand the universe. Voyager 2 ventured farther than any machine before, forging a path for future generations to follow, and reminding us that our reach can extend to the stars. Voyager's mission was supposed to end after Saturn, but the spacecraft kept going, outliving its expected lifespan by over 40 years. Powered by plutonium-fueled generators, the probes became legends of endurance, reporting from the edge of the solar system for nearly five decades. Generations of scientists have commanded them, using software older than many team members. As power dwindled, engineers shut down instruments one by one, keeping only the essentials alive. Communicating with Voyager 2 now takes nearly two days for a round trip, yet the probe continues to send back data, a whisper across billions of miles. Voyager 2 is NASA's longest-running mission, a testament to human ingenuity and persistence. Its journey reminds us that with vision and care, our creations can outlast us, carrying our curiosity into the unknown. In 1979, Voyager 2 reached Jupiter, revealing a world of swirling storms and dynamic weather. The Great Red Spot came alive in stunning detail, and lightning flashed in Jupiter's clouds. But the real surprises were Jupiter's moons. Io was found to be volcanically active, with sulfurous plumes erupting into space, the most geologically active body in the solar system. Europa's cracked, icy surface hinted at a hidden ocean beneath, raising hopes for life beyond Earth. Voyager also discovered Jupiter's faint, dusty rings, previously invisible from Earth. The Jovian system was a miniature solar system, teeming with diversity and activity. Voyager 2's flyby rewrote textbooks and inspired future missions. Using Jupiter's gravity, the probe set course for Saturn, leaving us with a far richer view of our cosmic neighborhood. The mission's success proved that the outer planets were far more complex than anyone had imagined. Voyager 2 pressed on, deeper into the unknown. In 1981, Voyager 2 arrived at Saturn, unveiling the planet's rings as thousands of intricate ringlets, far more complex than imagined. The probe discovered mysterious spokes in the rings and revealed Saturn's moons as unique worlds. Enceladus showed signs of recent geological activity, hinting at a subsurface ocean. 
Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere suggested a world with complex chemistry and methane lakes. Voyager 2 also found new moons, each adding to Saturn's story. After its flyby, Voyager 1 departed the solar system's plane, leaving Voyager 2 to continue the grand tour. With Saturn behind, Voyager 2 set its sights on Uranus, venturing into uncharted territory. The mission's legacy grew with every new discovery. After five years in deep space, Voyager 2 reached Uranus in 1986, the only spacecraft ever to visit. Uranus, tilted on its side, presented a world of extreme seasons and a pale blue-green hue. Beneath its calm appearance, Voyager detected fierce winds and a bizarre off-center magnetic field. The probe discovered ten new moons, including Miranda, a moon with a jumbled, fractured surface, evidence of a violent past. Voyager also revealed Uranus's narrow, dark rings, starkly different from Saturn's. The flyby lasted only hours, but the data transformed our understanding of ice giants. Uranus became a symbol of the solar system's unpredictability. Using Uranus's gravity, Voyager 2 set course for its final planetary target. The mission's discoveries at Uranus remain unmatched to this day. Voyager 2 pressed onward, deeper into the dark. In 1989, after a remarkable 12-year journey across the vastness of our solar system, Voyager 2 finally reached Neptune, the most distant of the giant planets. This was a momentous occasion, marking the end of humanity's first grand tour of the outer planets. Scientists had expected to find a calm, quiet world at the edge of the sun's influence. Instead, they were stunned by Neptune's dynamic atmosphere, an intense, deep blue planet swirling with storms like the mysterious Great Dark Spot and home to the fastest winds ever recorded in the solar system, reaching up to 1,200 miles per hour. Later, as data was carefully analyzed, it was revealed that Neptune's true color is actually a paler, more subtle greenish blue, not the vibrant azure that first captured the world's imagination in those early images. The difference was due to image enhancements made to highlight Neptune's features. Voyager's instruments also uncovered six previously unknown moons, adding to Neptune's mysterious family of satellites and expanding our understanding of the planet's complex system. The spacecraft then turned its gaze to Triton, Neptune's largest moon, and made a groundbreaking discovery, active nitrogen geysers erupting from its icy surface, evidence of geological activity in one of the coldest places in the solar system. Even in the frigid, remote reaches of the solar system, Voyager found worlds that were alive with motion and change, challenging our assumptions about where activity could exist. Neptune's rings, once thought to be smooth and uniform, were revealed to be faint, clumpy, and incomplete, defying expectations and raising new questions about their origin and evolution. The Neptune flyby was a spectacular finale to Voyager's planetary encounters, unveiling a world far more complex, beautiful, and mysterious than anyone had imagined. With its last planetary encounter complete, Voyager 2 set its course for the edge of the solar system, venturing into the unknown. The grand tour of the outer planets was over, but the mission's legacy was just beginning, inspiring generations of scientists and dreamers. Voyager 2's discoveries at Neptune forever changed our map of the cosmos, revealing new mysteries and possibilities in the farthest reaches of our solar system. The probe pressed on, leaving the planets behind and heading into interstellar space, carrying with it the hopes and curiosity of humanity. Its journey was far from over, as Voyager 2 continued to explore the unknown, sending back whispers from the edge of the stars. After the grand tour, Voyager 1 turned its camera back toward home, capturing the iconic pale blue dot image in 1990. From billions of miles away, Earth appeared as a single pixel, a fragile, lonely speck in the vastness. Carl Sagan's words inspired by this image remind us of our shared humanity and the need to cherish our only home. The photograph's impact is philosophical, not scientific, a humbling perspective on our place in the universe. 34 minutes later, Voyager 1's cameras were shut down forever. The pale blue dot became a symbol of cosmic perspective and environmental responsibility. It urges us to look beyond our divisions and see ourselves as one species on a tiny world. The legacy of this image endures, changing how we see ourselves. With the planets behind them, the Voyagers set out for interstellar space, aiming to cross the heliopause, the sun's boundary. Voyager 1 crossed in 2012, Voyager 2 in 2018, 
becoming our first interstellar travelers. They now measure the density of interstellar plasma, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays, data never before collected. Communicating with the probes is a feat. Signals take nearly a day each way and are barely detectable. In 2023, Voyager 1 briefly went silent, but engineers restored contact, a testament to ingenuity. Power is running low, only a few instruments remain active. The goal is to keep them alive until their 50th anniversary in 2027. Even after they fall silent, the Voyagers will drift through the galaxy for millions of years. They are our silent ambassadors, carrying humanity's story into the stars. Their journey is a testament to exploration without end. Each Voyager spacecraft carries a golden record, a time capsule crafted for any distant intelligence that might one day find it drifting through the stars. This record is more than just a collection of sounds and images. It is a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean, carrying the story of our world. The record holds a carefully curated selection of images, music from across cultures, greetings in 55 languages, and the sounds of Earth itself, thunder, laughter, a baby's cry, the crash of waves. It's a snapshot of humanity, a mosaic of our diversity and our shared experience, meant to introduce us to anyone or anything that might listen. Its cover is etched with instructions and a map to our sun, designed in a universal language of science and mathematics. These symbols are meant to guide any finder, no matter how alien, back to our home among the stars. The odds of discovery are vanishingly small, yet the act of sending it was a profound gesture of hope, optimism, and self-reflection. It was a statement that we are here and that we wish to be known. The golden record forced us to ask ourselves, who are we and what do we want to say to the cosmos? It challenged us to define our identity as a species and to consider what legacy we wish to leave behind. Voyager's legacy is twofold, a story of scientific discovery, as it revealed the wonders of our solar system, and a testament to the enduring human spirit, always reaching for the unknown. The probes now drift silently between the stars, carrying our message of peace, curiosity, and the hope that we are not alone in the universe. Whether the records are ever found or not, they symbolize a moment when humanity reached out, not with fear, but with wonder and a desire to connect with the cosmos. The Voyagers are our silent ambassadors to eternity, carrying the essence of our world far beyond the reach of our sun. Their journey is a lasting reminder that, from our tiny pale blue dot, we dared to dream beyond the sky, and to send a greeting to the stars, hoping someone, somewhere, might one day answer.